Today we are fishing with an oldie but a goldie, or maybe it's an oldie but a moldy, I don't know, uh, the culprit sticky worm. Folks are definitely familiar with the culprit worm, the standard 7.5 incher, and also that 6 incher sometimes as well. But this is one that has been discontinued for uh, probably a few years now. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in, wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. We are back on the lake today. In fact, back on one of my favorite little lakes, Lake Bass Drop in Central Texas, doing a little early summer worm fishing. <laughs> I just dropped the anchor, and by the way, I've got a new 15 pound anchor. That 10 just was not holding me. So I've dropped the 15 pound anchor. We are uh, on the lake. It's definitely a little bit windy today, so I wanted to have some stability to do some worm fishing. We're in a pretty fishy spot. I marked some fish over on the edge there, and hopefully we're gonna get one or two to bite the culprit sticky worm today, and we'll see if this thing can turn a zero into a hero. There's one! Ho ho ho! Woohoo! Sticky worm got one! <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. Woo! Let's not get stuck here. <laughs> well, well, there we go. Nice little bass on the old school culprit sticky worm. It's funny, but when he hit, I didn't know if I had the camera running or not, so I actually turned around to look before I set the hook. I don't know if it had anything to do with the Velcro at all, but he definitely did not spit that. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay, so now for the real test, I want to see how well this sticky worm actually sticks to the bass. So here is the sticky surface of the worm itself. Let's go ahead and put this in his mouth, and we'll see if it would hold him. I'm curious. Oh, actually, hold on. This is interesting. Yeah, that actually totally, totally would hold him for a second or two. Really cool. All right, let's let this little guy go and see if we can get another one on the old sticky worm. Gonna go ahead and rig up a sticky worm. I'll show you actually kind of how to rig this in consideration of that little strip of Velcro. So it actually is on a standard culprit worm and right on the belly is a little two inch strip of Velcro. And it's the fuzzy side of Velcro, not the hook side. That's what the bass's mouth is for. So the key is when you rig it, you can't put a hook through there or you don't want to put a hook through there. So you have to rig it on its side. So to do that, I've got a standard uh, worm hook here uh, with a little bend. I want the curl of the tail pointing upward so that when I pause the bait, it'll curl up that way, sort of like a walking worm. So I'm gonna go in through the side, about a quarter inch back, and literally come out right at the midline where the uh, top part of the color meets the bottom part. 
going to go in, turn that around, and pre-measure. And you'll see the Velcro is totally exposed. And the hook is going to be perpendicular to it. From there, looks like I'm going to go in just at the front of the egg sac. And what you want to do is avoid hitting that Velcro uh, segment. I got to be honest, it is a little bit hard to rig. Uh, trying to avoid that Velcro section. But I think, I think I've done an okay job. You definitely wouldn't want that impeding a hook set. That'd be kind of defeating the whole purpose of the sticky worm. Okay, so there we go. We're rigged up fairly straight. I'll probably play with that a little bit before I cast. Uh, but that is a sticky worm rigged up and ready to roll. There he is. Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> Look at that guy. Nice. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> I can get him in here without uh, retro in this guy. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Come on, buddy. Come on in here. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> Uh, there we go, another nice sticky worm bass. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, these worms definitely last about as long as, uh, well, I won't say it. They don't last very long, unfortunately. But he definitely hit it, and I think he was kind of swimming toward me a little bit, so I kind of retroed that one a little bit. But we were able to stick him with the sticky worm. <laughs> I do find that fish that live around a lot of vegetation, they've got really sharp teeth. And if you look at this guy, that sticky worm 100% grabs. Now, I don't know if when they bite the worm, it's sticking out of their mouth and they bite it in just the right spot, or if he just swallows it. Uh, but either way, pretty looking little post-spawn bass. Let's let him go. Nice. All right, here's the aftermath of our bass. Looks like that culprit uh, sticky worm is riding up north of the hook. I know that the culprits are pretty fragile in general, but I will say, you know, adding a strip of non-plastic to the body cavity definitely tends to weaken it. We'll see if we can salvage this guy, but we may not be able to. I don't even know how that happened. What did that do? Okay, so there's our worm. We'll see if we can rake him up from the other side. Uh, I'm not sure how much luck we'll have. Actually, nah, that head is pretty much ripped open. So unfortunately, two little fish, two worms down. Another feature and benefit of the sticky worm having that little patch of Velcro is that it would be a pretty good landing spot for any sort of scent that you've got. Here I've got some old school fish formula. This is actually pre-sparkle scales. Game fish, it still smells pretty good by the way. And I can just go ahead and dump that onto that little uh, Velcro area and look at it. It just soaks right in. Nice. <laughs> he was jumping oh whoa don't spit it buddy oh my goodness man alive <laughs> oh my goodness Come here. Let's get you in here. 
<laughs> oh, son. <laughs> well, there we go. I think he clean spit the uh, worm. Uh, but, man, really nice, really nice bass. <laughs> I think I hooked him in a really funky way. He was not loving it, but he was not pegged very well at all. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous little springtime bass. Uh, yet another one on the old culprit sticky worm. Kind of funny, I don't feel like I've been having the best bite detection or hook sets today, yet I've gone three for three on this thing. So whatever that means, I don't know. <laughs> but that's probably the nicest one I've gotten so far. Uh, nice little post-spawn male bass. Sweet.